Lakwadi has been giving you gifts. Ah, your bathing water is ready. Baby bush rat. Mm. The black bee touched her gently mm. on her back like this. Mm -hmm. ah! The girl did not move. Her face turned away from me. Then the stupid man removed his hand. He yawned and quietly lay beside her. Still, the girl waited. Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. Thirty minutes. Then she turned gently. And what did she see? The black bee was snoring beside her. Oh, 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 since oh, that day, oh, 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 no family from any of the village of Ilini has agreed to give their daughter to any of Ogoye's man. They are all half men. <laughs> And if I am lying with this story, let this calabash fall from my hand right now. Good evening to you all. Good evening to you all. Good evening. Are they giving? What good? Let me see you both. What is wrong with both of you? Are you new in this matter of uh, marriage or what? What have you done, Egbomi? It is what you have not done. I just thought I should look into Odejimi's room to see if everything was clean and, uh, and arranged. And you should uh, leave here soon to come to your waiting room in my house. You hear? Um, the people of Orita will lead our road through the path there. You know you must not see our road until her feet has been cleaned and um, she has entered your room. Or have you forgotten that one too? <laughs> no, I remember that, Ebo. I would have long gone before they arrived. Um, have you picked the men to guard your room tonight? Yes, we have. In fact, they are even around here. It is well. You must not drink uh, too much my wine. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, Oku. In fact, I've been very careful. <laughs> Thank you, Oku. You know, you have to be fully awake <laughs> for the work. I remember that, Ebo. Thank you. <laughs> Stay again. Thank you, Ebo. <laughs> Yawo. <laughs> 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 
Lagbara <laughs> Allah <laughs> menta arisa. O si meni adude. To alori un. O komi. O diara arisa o manu mujabe. Kekere ni saade agba ni saada. Kori ni abailo. Ache. Wa ba ko wa ba bo. Ache. O ni ri ja orogu. Ache. O ni ri dele ri ri. A message for me? Uh, no, but I just want to ask if I can join them. Join who? Those people behind the window. My name is Ajani, the son of Akiwale the basket weaver. When we were bringing the new wife, my father said I should look for four men who are going to stay behind the window and I should join them. Your father told you that? Yes, I did your father tell you what this man will be doing behind the window? Uh, no, but he told me to look and learn from what they are doing. How old are you that your father wants you to start learning the job of full grown men? Eh? What good day was it? Uh, nothing really. It's this boy here. He said, he, in fact, you do take the boy. Let him stay here with you, man. I'm in a hurry. He will explain himself. Join them. mirror had not broken, it would have looked very good beside the Kulu here. That's true. This is bigger than our rose room at Orita. You can stand far from the mirror and really see yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, Awero. All will be well. Yes, it's 
hello. You go into the parlor now and join the others. Oh? You want my son to marry four of you tonight as well? Ah. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> Does other Jimmy have that kind of power? <laughs> Let's see how well he can be husband to our room. Then we'll think of becoming his second, third, fourth, and fifth wives. <laughs> In that case, just go out there now and tell your mothers that Olya Jimmy is coming for four of you this next week. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! Ah! Ah! I cannot wait Thank you. The owner of this land will stand by you too. Ah! <laughs> I will rock you. Daughter of Fono from House of Arisa. It's time to remove your jewelry. Don't be afraid. All will be well. This is what they say about women. How could my mother forget the cloth? I even asked her this morning and she said. I asked her too this evening, just before our robe was brought from Urita. She said she, she's going to send your sister to bring it here immediately. It is all well. Use this. I have not touched this since we used it two years ago. Now, it will be, be the talk of the town that uh, uh, wore a borrowed cloth to beat his wife on his wedding night. Will you stop talking like a child? Who is going to know whether you borrowed it from me or you bought it from me saying? People will know, eh, bon? They are still wearing this. Even if it was two years ago. Now, what do you want? We'll run to your house to bring your clothes in full view of the guests, then run back here to dress you up. Do you know how long now your wife has been taken to the room? I'm sure people will be wondering what has happened. Uh, hurry up, your wife is waiting for you. It is done in Agbede. Your wife has been waiting for you since, but now she's fast asleep. <laughs> Don't worry. I have brought something to wake her up. Mm. When our row wakes up, all of you here will hear it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say about this Agbede men, especially hunters. They talk too much. Go, <laughs> uh, uh, go and tell the musicians to stop. The only music for now will be coming from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, me. The wife is waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Yo 
So it's you the frightening me. My God. Aweru. He said Aweru. She has not answered him. That is how it should be. Are you not tired yourself? Tired? No, I'm not. Ah, I can I be tired? But I am. Concerns us more, both of us. Please promise not to be angry with me if you love me. Why don't you love me? Love. You are wasting my time. Everybody's time.
ever finish this photo. I will. Thank you. Is that a promise? Or you are just saying it so that I can leave you alone? I will, I promise. I might even eat the plates. Ha. Ah. <sighs> Except that this is not the dream I woke up with only yesterday morning. Oh, dear Jimmy. You know, it's true. Yesterday morning, as I woke up and started wearing my wedding clothes, I said to myself, Oh, dear Jimmy, from tomorrow morning, your own wife, not your mother, nor another man's wife, your own wife will again begin to feed you from the smoke of her own kitchen. Look, but Ode Jimmy, you have to take this like a man. Yes, something like this has never happened in Agbede village, but it has happened in several other places over so many years, and the world has not ended because of that. Yes, but why should it happen to me? Why should this abomination happen in my own name, in my father's house? It happened because... Mommy, that's enough. You may go now. I'll keep talking to him. Whatever you talk, please ensure he finishes my food. He will. All right. Ode Jimmy, will you keep yourself together? Why are you doing this to yourself? Just promise me one thing, Ode. What? Our must not leave this village. You must not let her leave until she tells me who did this. I must know who she joins us with to put this sand of shame in my eyes. After that, she can go in peace and I will look for another wife. And if the elders choose to send her back to her village today or tomorrow, then the elders will have to tell me if our rose bride price was paid from their sweat of their brows or mine. In fact, I'm going to my house. Like you are not going anywhere until the elders have met. You are not going to go and do something rash and stupid as usual. I will not allow it. <laughs> 